Here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a bit fat, thick huh? thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Bitch. What are we doing here today? What do I always say? Read the title before you click. Read the title before you click. Of course, what do I like to do? I love to put my two cents in it. So today, we are gonna drop our two cents on Miss Kelly Price. If you don't know who Kelly Price is, um. <laughs> You're probably too young to be watching this video. So like, uh -huh. no, I'm just kidding. R&B singer, she's been in the game for a minute. She redid the little Shirley Murdoch song, the little, the little uh, As We Lay. And she done work with Whitney. She done work with Faith. She done worked with everybody at all. And we're not here to talk about her career. We're here to talk about the recent drama that she's been in. But you know how we do on this channel. We ramble and we say what we say. We say what we say when we mean what we say when we say it and we mean it. You know what I'm talking about? Recently, okay, Miss Kelly Price, um, baby, are you okay? Huge fan. I, I just want everybody to just kind of pause. Let's just send some warm vibes to Miss Kelly Price because as of late, it's just been some negative energy. It's been some negativity that's kind of just, just finding her and um, I'm not here for it. What has been going on the most latest thing is this past Memorial Day weekend, there was supposed to be a concert. I don't know if y'all heard. Headlining Miss Kelly Price and Liza Jennings down in the Galveston area. So if you were not from Texas, Galveston is about, oh, oh, 40 minutes to an hour outside of Houston. So the Houston area. The concert didn't happen. It sparked just kind of this huge, it's just a lot going on. If you have not seen her Instagram lives, I encourage you to go watch her Instagram lives. Maybe watch those first so you have the full story. But you know, I'm trying to condense this and just give y'all what y'all need. So it's supposed to be this concert and the promoter, which is Rev Nation and like the head, like the head guy. Okay, so Ken James, who is like the top, I think kind of bit off more than what he could chew. Here he came the day of the show. And my man just kind of went MIA. So Miss Kelly Price is like, uh, baby, I'm here. I can't get in contact with him. Where's my coin? I'm not gonna walk on stage if I don't get my coin. Which is fair. Because why would you wanna work without getting paid? So that makes sense. I get why she's mad. She's there, she's in town, has not heard from this man, has not got her coin, can't nobody on her team get in contact with him. He just gone. All day of trying to track this man down, never got to track him down. Show ends up being canceled because Miss Kelly did not get paid. Mr. Life Jennings did not get paid. So therefore there will be no show. Ken James supposedly, allegedly, according to Miss Price, told people that the show was canceled because her grandmother was ill, very ill. That ain't even what happened. That ain't even what happened. What happened was... The reason why Mr. Ken said the show was canceled because of Kelly is because he, he did get that information from Kelly. But it was taken out of context, okay? The show was already squashed over and done with before he knew that. What was really actually said was when, when she finally got to speak with this man, she was basically like, dude. There's a billion other places I could be other than here not performing because I didn't get my money. I have very sick relatives and one of which including my grandmother who raised me who's not doing well. I could be there with her. Instead of here not performing for a show. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? He, he, she, this was, a, this was after the fact. So he took this information and was like, Oh, well Kelly kind of been her feelings over her grandmother so there ain't gonna be no show. What really happened was tickets just did not sell. There was not the other half of the money. Now, I don't know how much y'all know about the music in industry and the business or whatever. So when you have performers, it don't matter if it's like a, a small club or a whole arena performance with like 
the biggest celebrity you could think of. Usually half the money or a portion of the money gets paid up front and then the rest of the money gets paid either right before a sound check, right before the show, depending on sometimes it's after the show to make sure the artist actually performs. But in most cases you get half sometime before the performance in the second half, either right before the performance or right after. Y'all get what I'm saying? I think what happened was this man bit off more than he could chew. The show was originally supposed to happen earlier this year, but Texas, I don't know if y'all remember, but there was a freeze, and so the show had to be rescheduled for Memorial Day weekend. Now, Miss, Miss Kelly Price, and a lot of other people feel like this man was trying to be shady the house down boots and uh i don't and and just was not going to plan it on giving her her money they just really think that he was just being shady it's really jacked up that people spent their money and they didn't get a show but i don't think that man was trying to be shady miss kelly price went on instagram live she went in she went in on that man. She went in on that man. She really, really did. And in response, Mr. Ken James, Mr. Rev Up, Rev Up Nation man, he made an apology video on Instagram apologizing to her. Now, when this man realized that the show was not going to happen because he didn't have the money because the tickets didn't sell for whatever what reason, you know, he should have called and said, hey, look, this is what was projected. This isn't what happened. I don't have your money. I understand if you don't want to perform, but for the sake of the community, if, if you if you still can find it in your heart to, you still want to perform, we would greatly appreciate it and blah, blah, blah. But like I said, I understand if you don't want to, I deeply apologize. He should have stepped up and handled it. I, I think he panicked and you should not leave people in the dark. You should not have people showing up and there's no show. I think that he just bit off more than he could chew. Now, with that being said, I'm trying to figure out who... The concert was supposed to be in Gavison at a place called the Moody Gardens. Why? Who thought that Kelly Price's demographic, like Jenny's demographic, that who thought that that demographic was going to show up and turn out in Gavison, Texas in the Moody Gardens? The original show that was going to happen in earlier this year, like February or March. I don't know if it was always supposed to be in Moody Gardens or uh, or what. I, I just, I don't know who picked that location. It was a great idea. A lot of people love the R&B music. A lot of people, Kelly, don't get me wrong, Kelly Price and Life Jennings got a lot of fans. But I just don't see where those ticket sales were going to come from in, in, in Galveston in the Moody Gardens. If you're from Texas, you know what I'm talking about. But it's just... It's a reason why pe performers go to certain cities at certain times of the year and, and do, you get certain performers in certain places because it's demographics. If it's not going to sell the tickets, then those people aren't going to go there. You know what I'm saying? The, I say all that to say, Miss Kelly, I get why you are upset and it was handled very poorly, but baby, you got to be honest with yourself and know that it's not his fault that the tickets didn't sell. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have fans. I'm one of them. You got a lot. I'm just saying. I don't know if you know anything about that Galveston in Texas. No shade to Galveston. I was just there not too long ago. And Moody Gardens specifically. But I I feel like most of your demographic for that music would have come from Houston area. And, and that's, like I said, it's an hour away. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know that you have the demographic that's going to drive an hour on Memorial Day weekend when there's a whole bunch of events going on that were closer to people. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm just like, you just have to be realistic. You know what I mean? Because you got to think about it. Why would this man sabotage the show? Like, don't get me wrong. A lot of promoters are shady and they don't handle business well. There's a lot of good promoters, but there's a lot of shady ones. Why would this man who is really trying to build up his company just sabotage it like that with a celebrity of your stature with with life jennings you know y'all not topping artists right, right now you gotta keep that in mind too but why would he risk his name risk his company and not be able to do business with anybody he would have wanted the show to be put on his i think the only thing that he's guilty of is not handling it the right way and just calling them like man look man we ain't sell them tickets i ain't got that money we do you know what i'm saying my fault 
You know what I'm saying? Don't have people coming to track you down. I think y'all get what I'm saying. Miss Kelly Price was just, she was going off. She was going off. I'm gonna tack this little part on here. I tell this story because <sighs> you gotta be careful of the energy you put into the world because it's gonna come back to you. Now before all of this concert drama happened, Miss Kelly Price was in another debacle with the Hurts. Y'all know the Hurts, the car company, honey, the car rental company, and Hurts, I ain't gonna go through all of that, but anyways, they tried to say that she still got a car that she had turned in a week ago, weeks before, a week ago, and was charging her all this money because they were claiming that she still had the car. But it was really an issue on their end. She got a little, she got a little ratchet on that. You know what I'm saying? Go watch the Instagram videos. Y'all see what I'm saying. She got a little, you know what I'm saying? Why these motherfuckers woo woo? The heart situation happened before this concert debacle. Look, everybody has a human moment. When people are playing with your money, it does make you act out of character. It will make you lose your religion. I don't follow Miss Kelly Price to like it that. But from what I see, she is somebody who is a very positive person. She spreads the, the, the word, the good word. She is always trying to spread positive, uplifting messages. And with situations like this, the, the hurts doing her wrong in this Rev Up Nation concert debacle, I feel like that was a time to practice what you preach. Y'all know what I'm saying? It's easy to sit up here and be like, yeah, praise him. Oh, oh, he's so good to me. When everything's going good. For your audience, Miss Kelly Price, I feel like this was a time. Not for you to get on the socials and to show your ass. You know what I'm saying? This was not the time. This was a time to really show that you were handling things with a grace. Let's be honest about the demographic that likes Kelly Price. And now if I hurt your feelings, I hurt your feelings. It, it, look, I'm just, I'm keeping it 100 here. Most people who, who are, who are in the demographic of like her main fans are people who need examples of handling things with grace. When not a whole bunch of, and doing, man, well, why mess my money? They need, well, don't be, you have a platform. And you're too old to be getting on here and, and just, look, like I said, everybody has, I'm not calling Kelly Price old. I think anybody over the age of 18 is too old to be getting on social media and talking about, well, I can't believe it, blah, blah, blah. Because if I'm upset, the last thing I want to do is hold a camera in front of my face, especially if I got a platform. I'm not saying that she doesn't have a right to a human moment. Baby, have your human moment. Baby, have that. But well, why do you have to have it on camera? Have your moment, get yourself together, and then I, the video I want to see, I want to see this video. Hey guys, you know what? I just wanted to let y'all know that this, this, and this was going on. I was very upset. I'm not going to lie. But I just want to say, remind people that in times of unfairness, that is the time when you need to lean on God the most. You need to check yourself. It's okay to have emotions, but... Turn it around. Don't stay in that too long. I'll keep y'all posted. Wow, what a jacked up situation. But you know what? It's all good. And da 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 da. That's the video I want to see. I, I don't want to see a bunch of neck popping and. <laughs> you know, because people already think Christians are, are fake and we this and we that. And that. that was a time for you to really. Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? And I done hurt somebody's feelings. I can feel it. That girl another dislike right there. Like Rich Lux. That girl know another dislike right there. Because she didn't handle that situation with the hurts correctly, God told her that lesson again. How many of y'all done been through something and you keep going through the same damn? You keep going through the same thing. Do you know why? If you if God, God will give you a test, and if you fail, what's gonna happen? He gonna test your ass again. And I just feel like, you know, look, you didn't handle this hurt situation well, then the concert thing happened. To me, you didn't handle, you didn't, ha you didn't handle it. Now, I don't want to see Miss Kelly Price keep going through the whoop, the whoop, whoop, moves. And I'm just like, baby, you don't see that? All you doing is teaching your fans that it's okay to be, well, I don't know what I Check 
yourself before you wreck yourself. Anyways, I'm a huge Kelly Price fan. Please don't, please, please don't come for me. Don't come for me. I know y'all like to come for me. Tell me if I'm dead wrong. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big fat thick thumbs up and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Whoa, bitch. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Love you too much.